Moral, let's talk about Merge Sword. What is Merge Sword? Merge Sword is a divide and conquer sorting algorithm. Basically, it reduces one big problem into smaller ones until these become simple enough to be solved directly. After that, the solutions to the subproblems are combined to give a solution to the original problem. It was first implemented by John von Neumann in 1945. You use merge sort when you need to sort large amounts of data. Since the worst case scenario for time is O n log n, merge sort is faster for sorting large amounts of data. It is typically used to do an external sort, basically when the size of your data is bigger than what you can fit in main memory. To do merge sort, you need to divide by splitting the array in half recursively into n subarrays until each has one element, conquer by recursively sorting these subarrays, combine by merging the sorted subarrays until one is left. How does it look like? We have an array of elements we'd like to sort. Then we split the array in half recursively until we have one element subarrays. If the length of the array is at most 1, then the array is already sorted so we do nothing. Otherwise, we split in halves. Then, we compare each element and sort them recursively until we have one sorted array. Let's look over some code example. If you'd like to follow with the code, you can download it from my GitHub account in the link below. First, I create an array of 10 unsorted numbers. Then, I pass the array with its start and end indices into the merge sort function. In the merge sort function, since I call this function recursively, the first thing I do is I check if the start index is greater than or equal to the end, to know if I am done. Then, I start making the recursive calls to divide the array in half. In the first call, I pass a mid index as the end, in the second call, I pass a mid index as a start. Every time I make these calls, the start and end indices change and I pass this to the merge function to sort and merge the subarrays. In merge, first I find the size of the array and create a temporary array. Notice it is a pointer so that it is dynamic and its size can be a variable. Then I create an index, find the new middle index and create counters to keep track of the parts of the array. In the while loop, I iterate through the array to sort it. If the element in i is less than the element in j, then I save the element in the temporary array and increment the i. Else, I still save the element in the temporary array and increment the j index. Let's go over it in detail with a couple of iterations. Say I call the merge function and pass a whole list. In the first iteration I have the array with all the elements in it, i is 0, so its element is 2, j is the middle index and the element is 1, and the counter is 0. When I compare the element in i and the element in j, I find that 1 is less than 2, so I save 1 at position 0 in the temporary array. In the next iteration, i is 0 and j is now at position 6 with element 8, and the counter is 1. 2 is smaller than 8, so I save 2 at 1 in the temporary array, and increment i. We continue to iterate until we go through the entire array. Once I have the sorted subarray, I go through a for loop to move all the elements from the temporary array into the original subarray. Then, I delete temporary array to clear up memory. After I'm done, I print out the sorted array to check it out. The best average and worst cases for time complexity are O n log n. The space complexity is O n. It compares at most in n steps, and every time I cut it in half, I am doing O log n steps. And this is how I get O n log n for time complexity. If I were to have a linked list, I would not need to allocate extra space in a temporary array since I can move the pointers. Merge sort can have an O1 space complexity when using linked list. Thanks for watching! Comment below and subscribe!